Hello to beans. Do you trust the values in your hunt analyzer? Are you confused why the party hunt analyzer never shows the same values as your own personal hunt analyzer? Even though you set the price of every single item you looted and used? Which of them is right? To understand what happens, we have to look at the cyclopedia. Here you can search up any item and determine their value. These settings are client-based, so you don't need to repeat this for every character. We can start with a basic piece of ham. You can see that this item sells to NPCs for 4 or 2 GP and that you can buy it from NPCs for 5 to 16 GP. Furthermore, on the left side you can see the option to use NPC buy values or the average market price. The default setting for any item is to use the NPC buy values. Let's see what happens if we loot a piece of ham with this setting. As you can see, the value of the ham was 4 GP. So looting an item uses the highest price from the sell to NPC list. And that makes sense, because that is what we would get if we loot the item and then sell it. Next up, let's consume the item. The lowest price on the NPC buy from list is 5 GP. Nom nom! What is this? Our analyzer went to minus 12. The analyzer used the highest price in the buy from list, which was 16 gold. We can verify the actual prices by hovering over the items in the supply and loot analyzer. So according to the analyzers, I just wasted 12 gold, which is of course wrong. The lowest price should be taken from the buy from list when consuming an item. My net waste should be a 1. Now let's see what happens if we use the other option, the average market price. You can flip between these two settings anytime and all the values from the current hunting session will update on the fly. And if we do that, we can see that the balance becomes zero. And that is how it should be with this setting. But is the average market price a good choice? If you look at the price of an energy bar on my server, then you can immediately see that this is not a good idea. The price of this one is above 32,000. You can easily loot 200 energy bars in the other world, but you can't eat them. Meaning you make 6kk profit, which of course you didn't. Also important to note is that this item isn't bought or sold by any NPCs. So even though we have the NPC value option enabled, the analyzer jumps to the average market price. In this case above 32,000. The solution here is to set your own preferred loot value. You need to set a minimum value of at least one gold coin in order for this setting to take effect. Now 200 energy bars would only sum up to 200 gold coins and that can then be neglected. The sad part of the own preferred loot value is that it only affects items that you actually do loot, but it doesn't affect items that you consume. So if you were to eat those 200 energy bars, then your actual waste would be increased by 6 million, which is of course very wrong. The takeaway here is that the values in your hunt analyzer are rarely 100% accurate. You can set values on every single item, and with that the loot value will be as accurate as you expect. But for every item that you consume, if you can't buy it from NPCs, then the very random average market price will be used. Also items like Ring of Healing have a very large discrepancy on buy and sell at the gins. Loot one at NPC price setting, 100 GP value. Use one and let it expire, plus 2k waste. Now let's get into a party and open the party hunt analyzer. We loot an energy bar. Both analyzers show the same value, regardless of using average market price or our own price. So this seems correct. Now we eat the energy bar. With the average market price, again both analyzers are the same. If we set our own preferred loot value to 1 gold, voila! The party and analyzer actually takes into account their own preferred loot value also when consuming. The personal hunt analyzer doesn't. Everyone always trusts their own hunt analyzer, because that one was implemented first. But in reality, the personal hunt analyzer is the one with the wrong values, especially if you did set prices of all items manually. 
And also if you didn't set any prices, then the hunting analyzer defaults to NPC values, while the party hunt analyzer only considers average market prices or leader configured prices. And this is the reason why hunting analyzers never match with party analyzers. The default settings just don't match. Next time people mention to you that their personal ways doesn't line up with your own leader configured prices, feel free to direct them to this video. Then they will understand that the leader configured prices are way more accurate than their own hunting analyzer. In reality Zipsoft should of course fix the personal hunt analyzer to also use the own preferred loot value when consuming items. Until then, always take your personal balance with a grain of salt.